All right, here we are. Hello, good morning. It is the beginning of day three in Japan. Um, yesterday we did 81 miles. Um, it was far too much. I overcooked it. I mean, I got it done, but it was very, very challenging just mentally and physically. So today we have a measly 30 miles. However, we have about 3,000 feet of elevation. So we're gonna take it slow. We're gonna see how it goes. Uh, I see the blue sky. I'm looking forward to getting out there. Let's do it. Okay. Here we go. Today we are going to try navigating using Strava. Main re is, the reason is yesterday um, I was using Google Maps. Everything was great, but sometimes it hits a point near the end of the ride where you're really tired and you just start looking at that mileage thing and watching it tick down and being like, okay, when's it gonna go to seven? When's it gonna go to six? And uh, it can tend to just be kind of stressful. So for today, I'm gonna try not having my mileage counter there so that I won't be looking at it constantly. Um, and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, I just find it... I mean, regardless, when you're doing 80 miles, you're gonna feel some type of way, but to me it was just like, the last 15 miles were so brutal physically that I was just found myself just staring at that counter. And ultimately, that's not what doing a ride like this is about and not how I want to spend my time. So, I think we'll just give it, a, give it a try today and see how it goes. Still have Google Maps available and, you know, I could be checking it. But, you know. My butt is is in a bad place today. <laughs> I think once I get settled in I'll be alright, but right now it is on a fire. But, first time I've seen real sunshine like this in two days and it feels incredible. So, I'm really really into that right now. Spirits are high starting in the morning. Honestly, just seriously, like having the sunshine today, I already feel like so much better. It's crazy how much of a difference that can make. I can see the mountains, some mountains. They look absolutely terrifying from a distance. <laughs> kind of don't uh, even <laughs> know how this is going to go down, but oh god.
food today. I ate well yesterday for sure, but this morning breakfast was a little light. Two pieces of toast. I mean, that being said, the largest pieces of toast you could ever possibly imagine. But, um, toast, soup, orange juice. Not a bad start, but I'm gonna have to definitely eat something relatively soon. Glasses on today. Okay. Wow, it is a stunningly beautiful day. This is this is literally what I needed. So we're in the city of Takasaki. Seems like a really nice city. It's really populous and full of people in life. Didn't really get much of a chance to see it yesterday. Got in at seven, almost seven and went to onsen eight and went to bed. One thing I'm gonna try to do more on this trip is slightly shorter rides so that I can actually explore the cities that I'm ending up in. <laughs> um, so we'll see how that goes today. But beautiful town. Takasaki. I mean, just spotless, obviously, and gorgeous. One thing I want to talk about briefly is uh, padded cycling shorts. It's a complicated subject for me. Um, I generally don't wear them. I have very skinny rear ends. Very slim <laughs> back there. And I find that I can never get them to quite sit right. They tend to almost cause more friction points than they help. Yesterday, since I knew I was doing the really big mileage, 80. <laughs> I uh, kind of decided just to go for it. Had them on all day. I think ultimately they helped, but then I kind of put them on this morning and it wasn't feeling right. And now even just kind of settling back into it after, you know, the first 10 minutes on the road, I I'm glad I'm not wearing them. So I don't know. I think it's maybe just good to mix it up, but it's always been a, a point of contestion for me. Oh my God. I don't know if you can see that, but holy mountains. And voice here. Doing, I've done over 100 miles so far, and obviously I've seen some really beautiful things. But this is the first time where I'm really seeing the hills and the mountains, and oh my god. It feels like I'm back, <laughs> kind of now. Damn, heavy bike traffic today, look at this. All the kids are commuting. Big statue up there on the hill. That thing's 
huge. Look at this, a little bike lane in here. Fantastic. Try to do a drone shot today. I've yet to do one. I mean, yesterday was really rainy and brutal, so it makes sense. But I'm gonna attempt to find a good spot today and fire. Man, look at the line here. Wow, stunning day, just stunning. Hold up, hold up. Taking the bike around here. We want to do a quick sit rep again. Oh, there it is. Legs feel great. I mean, I did not even really sore today, which is awesome. Wrists and palms hurting for sure, but manageable. But it's not as bad as I thought it would be, but still pretty bad. Sitting down in the onsen last night was heavenly. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be for sure the weak point today. Overall though, I've been sleeping really good, which I think is arguably the most important. When you can get that <laughs> full night's sleep, and I slept for like seven hours last night, eight hours almost, and that just goes such a long way. First stop today is a <laughs> famous last words is a train museum. Tried to do one yesterday, but it was actually closed Tuesdays. The one today is very different, um, but I'm kind of setting that as my first goal. There's a decent amount of climbing before then, and a lot of climbing after it. But that'll be kind of the jump-off point. Hopefully, find lunch around there too. And then uh, press on towards the hotel. Obviously hit the onsen tonight. There's also a bird sanctuary near the hotel that I'm very interested in seeing. Sorry, blowing that one. I can't wait for that one right now. Today is going to be all about pacing. Like I said, low mileage, but very high uh, climbing. Might actually be some of the highest climbing of the whole trip, but I, I don't really know. We'll see. It's also tomorrow on the day after that. Oh, so. No, this is a bike lane, but just kind of treating it as one. <laughs> Look at that. 
incredible. me but okay the constant battle in Japan the sidewalk versus the road talked a lot about it yesterday probably gonna talk more about it today always prefer the road but sometimes like this this morning super high traffic no trucks really but very high traffic and it's just sometimes better just to stick to the sidewalk slow today. I think I've talked about it before but one thing I've noticed is that obviously in Japan in the street they drive on the opposite side now you would think that on the sidewalk where most bikes live that would be the same but weirdly it's not because there's no consistency with it I generally would say stay to the left like in this situation I'm in right now but then constantly I see people riding on the left it doesn't seem like there's any rhyme or reason to it <laughs> in the US it's like you know generally walking on a sidewalk we walk the same way we walk on a street right right on the right and left whatever you say to the right you would think it would be like that in Japan and it's just not consistent I don't know I find it really odd I almost hit a guy yesterday I can't remember if I got it on camera or not but I came around a corner and I was on the left and he was on the left it's kind of like you know I, I just don't know I find it I find it very strange but neither here nor there Today we're just going to enjoy it. We are going to go slow and we are going to enjoy. God, I'm going to enjoy this, Derek. <laughs> I mean, ultimately I look back on yesterday as an incredible accomplishment, solo accomplishment for myself. I, I did enjoy parts of it for sure, but there was also large stretches where I was very uncomfortable. God, that's good. <laughs> I forgot. Forgot for a minute that the steering wheel's on the right, and I thought that person was passed out at the wheel. Oh, that, that, that gave me a good jump scare. I mean, if there's anything I learned from the last trip, it's that. I love mountainous areas, regardless of the fact that they're brutal. They're just so pleasant and beautiful. So, this is taking me back. It's 
so yeah i don't i mean i can't really tell which mountains i'm crossing yet it's not those i'm definitely going this way for the foreseeable future so we'll kind of see yeah i mean i could but see watch this now these guys well they're right in the middle currently I'm just gonna pull over and let them go. Take a quick drink. Can you show off? Boys! We're gonna do laundry tonight at the hotel in theory. A lot of hotels in Japan, especially business hotels, this one's not a business hotel, but a lot of them have laundry, which is incredible for travelers who are traveling light. But I'm officially out of I don't really I only really brought enough for three days. So this being day three, I'll definitely need to do it tonight. If for some reason they don't have it, I'll just have to hand wash it. So I think I'm gaining elevation. <laughs> it feels like I am. According to this Apple Watch, I'm 355 feet above sea level. That doesn't really mean much. Even though I think I've been at sea level this whole time up until now. Knock on wood, the bike was flawless yesterday. I really think after I got the brakes and the gears tuned, I think we're gonna be good. I mean, who knows? But yesterday, 81 in the rain. I mean, it had, it had many opportunities for things to go wrong and it just did incredibly. See, look at this guy, he's on, walking on the left. Uh, no. Most people don't like a, a good morning. This is, I'm a good morning guy, so. <laughs> I really would like to get in the street for a little bit. This sidewalk is very, very bumpy. But there really just ain't no shoulder here. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, 
Now some might say, you're about to do a bunch of mileage and a bunch of height. Why would you walk up a million stairs? Well, it's kind of part of the adventure. <laughs> Could use a little bit of cross training. <laughs> Some stairs, why not? I don't have any idea what's up here. <laughs> But I guess we'll find out. Huge, huge fish here. Look at that. <laughs> well that was a lovely little detour I can't remember the name of these things and it's really killing me right now but it was clearly a temple dedicated to them I got one from a gotcha pond these little guys I know you draw one eye in make a wish and then when the wish comes true you draw the other eye in that I know I just can't the name is escaping me I'll put it below but the little side quests are my favorite part. <laughs> now, bike security is really not a major issue in Japan. It's a very safe country, but I have an expensive bike. I wanted to keep it safe. Obviously, I have, I have a traditional lock too, but I wanted to get something a little different. So I found this on Amazon and so far I love it. Basically, it's for motorcycles and bikes, but it's a lock you put on the disc brake so and it's also an alarm so this is just basically to show people that you have it <laughs> that you have a lock but the bike can't roll right now obviously someone could take the wheel off and then steal the rest of it but the chances of that happening are really slim so if it moves at all it gives you some warning beeps and then if it moves more i think for 10 seconds more it starts beeping really loud so basically you just put the key in and disable it <laughs> there's a little sample of the alarm for you and uh that's it so far excellent purchase one more note about that lock it is absolutely not meant to be a true safety measure it's really just meant as a deterrent which you know goes a long way to be honest so i will take like I said, it's a pretty safe country. There's not that many situations where I'm legitimately worried about my bike getting stolen. Um, but it's also a quiet country and you can hear that alarm from like miles, <laughs> not miles, but a decent amount away. So it's like, it's a good, it's just a good safety, a good deterrent from wannabe potential thieves, that's all. <laughs>